The final chapter? Like, I'm gonna believe that. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Trek, supposedly forever after. But alas, my dear friends, we have come to the final chapter. And I am afraid our hero has fallen victim to a terrible curse. Oh no. This summer, far, far away, is in big, big trouble. Puss? It all started out with an ogre. Yes, just as Mickey Mouse was the key to Walt Disney's success, Shrek has been the key to Jeffrey Katzenberg's success. Katzenberg started out at Disney, reigning over its animation renaissance, but his bad relationship with Michael Eisner eventually led to Katzenberg's resignation. Luckily, Katzenberg was just able to scrape together the $30 million down payment necessary to get in on the ground floor of DreamWorks, where he took over the animation department. But recreating his success at Disney turned out to be difficult. Movies like Ants and the Prince of Egypt were highly regarded by critics, but Katzenberg didn't really hit a home run until Shrek in 2001. A huge worldwide success, Shrek has won an Oscar, spawned movie sequels, TV specials, video games, a theme park attraction, and a Tony Award winning Broadway musical. Now the adventure continues and is the latest DreamWorks animation film to join the IMAX 3D trend, a trend spearheaded by Katzenberg himself. But while Walt was careful never to overexpose his main attraction, is Katzenberg doing so with Shrek, especially as audiences find themselves captivated with DreamWorks Animation's latest adventures? We're about to find out, but just in case he is, Puss in Boots, Story of an Ogre Killer is scheduled for a November 2011 release. Hey, Katzenberg's no dummy. That's why Forbes now estimates his personal fortune at $800 million. Now let's go find out if his creative decisions are as golden as his financial ones. Is this the right number of Shreks, or one Shrek too many? One track too many. For me, it's too many. But it's good, though. The movie's really great. How much more they can squeeze from the, the green, <laughs> you know, uh, Shrek and... Uh, How much juice did they have here? Yeah, uh, not much. It was good. Oh, what'd you like about it? I like when... I like the end. Oh, yeah? It's actually a really fun movie. Like, I've been watching it in 3D and, like, it has a good story. Like, you don't get bored. It's really actually fun to watch. Well, why do you think it's too many? Because it's like, it's already one, two, three. <laughs> it's already three movies. It's like Harry Potter, it got boring all ah, the way. Oh, so you feel it's lost its magic. Yeah. Mm. How many Shreks have you seen? Lot. What? <laughs> How is the 3D? It's good, it's really good. Do you think all animated movies have to be in 3D now? No, not really. No? No. But you go anyway, right? Yeah. <laughs> but if it's in 3D, why not, right? <laughs> it's a 3D thing and it's fantastic always, you know. Oh, yes, yeah, so you like the, the technology. That's the only way, that's the only way for, for them to drag me to see that movie. Who is your favorite character in this movie? This movie? Yeah. Shrek. Shrek? A lot of kids like it. Oh, okay. How about adults? Well, they like it too. I, I have a lot of ones. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Who is the best character in this movie? Eddie Murphy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, wow. I like the donkey a lot. What do you give on a 1 to 10? I would give it at 8.5. I give like 8. 10. How much did you like it? Show me how much you liked it. Oh, yes, yeah. again? Uh, 10. It's good. Oh, it's good? Yeah. But you're just tired of seeing it? Yeah, I'm like, it's like my little sister said, it's Shrek, 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 it's always Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing new about it. Death by awesomeness! Yeah. Right? Yeah. So while audiences might feel they've had enough, just like Puss in Boots, they can't stop eating it up as they give Shrek Forever After a 9. And hey, YouTube wants your opinion on web shows. Go to this link to fill out the survey, and the link is also posted in the video description where you can click on it. I hope you'll check off Beyond the Trailer as one of your favorite web shows. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AM Empire 25, and you've just gone Beyond the Trailer.